This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. That's okay. Things are gonna be okay. Welcome back, it's Nan, and today we are going to be discussing the whole Xbox Live debacle that's going on on the internet, and, and a lot of people are upset about this with the current price changes that have taken place. Now, before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, and hit the like button, it helps the channel a ton. Now, let's get right into this, and this comes straight from news.xbox.com. This is an official source. Uh, no questions about this. This is 100% legitimate. So basically, some changes are coming to Xbox Live, and they're changing the prices. So these are the details. If you're an existing online 12 month or six month Xbox Live Gold member, there's no price change. So if you currently have a membership of six month or 12 month renewal, you're still gonna be charged the same price. But if you're not, a price of the one month gold membership is increasing by one dollar USD and the price of a three month membership is increasing by $5 USD or the equivalent amount in your local market. And lastly, they are saying if you'd like to upgrade your gold membership to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, your remaining gold time will also be converted directly to Ultimate up to 36 months, for example. Uh, this is not even a concern, these, these last two here. The bigger problem it comes in at the end of this article or news post where they say going forward, new pricing will be one month for $10.99 three months for $29.99 and six months for $59.99. Guys, that's right, six months for 60 bucks when one year used to be $60. And what makes this even worse, like aside from all these price increases that we're seeing, guys, a one year membership isn't even an option anymore. And that's messed up. That's really messed up. To put this in perspective for you guys, uh, Game Pass is $9.99 per month, okay? Uh, Game Pass Ultimate is $15 per month. And I remember back last year when they stopped making 12 month memberships and Microsoft was like, oh no, no, Xbox Live isn't going anywhere. They're right, Xbox Live wasn't going anywhere because they fully intended to get rid of the 12 month subscription option because they are going to charge you a lot more. Guys, you have to understand this. We're talking about basically twice the cost for a 12 month membership. And I don't know about you guys, I don't care how much of a fan of Xbox you are, okay? You can't tell me that that is justified. It's not. There's no reason. What is the justification for $120 a year, okay, for Xbox Live Gold, which gives you a few free games, okay? I'll give you that. You get some sale deals, okay, and you get some online uh, access. It's not worth it. That's ridiculous to, to, to increase it two times. And I'm telling you right now, I know, and I know this is the thing, right? I don't like to talk about too much about Microsoft and, and versus PlayStation because I get a lot of flack for it. Like, oh, you're a fanboy, whatever, whatever. No, guys, listen, if Sony came out and said, we are tar charging you two times as much for PS Plus, I would have a problem with that. I would say that's not okay. There's something wrong with this picture here. What makes it worse on Xbox is that you need Xbox Live Gold to play Fortnite, to play Warzone, to play Apex, all these free-to-play games. Any free-to-play game, you have to pay for Xbox Live Gold to, to have access to it. Can you imagine being somebody who just plays these free-to-play games? And I know people might be like, oh, well, that doesn't really happen. No, there's a lot of people who just play Warzone, Apex, and, and Fortnite, and they wouldn't be able to do that without having Xbox Live Gold. At that point, why would you buy an Xbox? And forgive me, I'm going to go on a bit of a rant here because I feel like it, it just becomes a question of who at Microsoft is making these decisions? Like who actually sat there and said, you know, it's a great idea. Let's charge twice as much for Xbox Live Gold. That is a terrible, I, I don't see how in any case that that is a, a good choice. And I know that in this article that they put out, this, this news piece here, they talk about how the price hasn't changed and it's been the same for years. And, and they say, we assess the value and pricing of our services to reflect changes in regional marketplaces. And as we offer more, we, we adjust our, how much we're gonna charge. And at the end of the day, the question is here, okay, if you're gonna do this, why don't you charge 
PC gamers, okay, and I look, I'm not agreeing with them at all, but I'm just saying, why do you charge do not charge PC gamers to play those same Xbox games online on your servers? They still play those same games, but they don't pay for Xbox Live. But meanwhile, your Xbox console users, hey, you're gonna pay for Xbox Live to play online. That's crazy. So this is comes to a point where how do we accept this as a community? We don't ex accept this. There's no way. I, I have not seen one person online, and I've seen a lot of hardcore Xbox fans basically say this is ridiculous. Not one person I've seen online has said, this is a good move. And if you are one of the people who says that this is a great move, I would love you to let me know in the comments. Let me know why this is a good move. Well, how we as consumers benefit from this, because I don't see any actual reasoning behind that. I'm not a fan of this decision that they've made do I own an Xbox One? Absolutely. I don't own a Series X yet. And this doesn't make me want to go out and get one. I mean, if I can play all the games on a PC, this $2,000 gaming PC I have, I'm going to play them on my PC. But my point being is these people who are going out buying these new consoles, this is slap in the face to them. This is a pure slap in the face. They need to backtrack on this. And I imagine that we're going to see them backtrack 100%. And I know what the goal is here. I think it's pretty obvious. Everybody sees it. They want people to forget about Xbox Live Gold. They want them to subscribe to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate because it's such a good value. And while it is a good value, guys, if somebody wants to pay for Xbox Live Gold alone and only Xbox Live Gold, they should have that option without being gouged for $120 a year. That's insane. So I know that I'm going on a bit of a rant here, but I'm just flabbergasted by the fact that Microsoft felt so confident in this decision that they've made, that they made it public. And this just goes back to how Microsoft shoots themselves in the foot on a regular basis. They can create so much goodwill with gamers and then afterwards they shoot themselves in the foot by doing something like this. And it makes you question the whole thing. Like, what's the point? Like, you are trying to say, hey, we're the good guys. Hey, we are all about the consumers. We are about the gamers. We want gamers to have the best place to uh, spend their time gaming. We want to be that, that platform. We don't want to hold games from people. But at the end of the day, you're charging people twice the value for a service that really shouldn't exist anymore. It's not acceptable. There's nobody out here who can justify this. And if you can, I'd love to hear it in the comments because I just don't see it. Uh, in terms of Xbox Live Gold, I think their plan, like I said, is to get rid of it completely, have everybody move over to Game Pass Ultimate or Game Pass, but that's not going to happen anytime soon because of the backlash that I'm seeing here, everybody is upset about it. I've not seen one person. But that's all I have for you guys today, and I'm very curious what you guys are going to have to say about this. Xbox Live Gold price increase, what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments. Are you for it? Are you against it? Does it make sense? Does it not make sense? I'd love to hear it. And uh, as always, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, and hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description. And share this video with a friend. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.